All right, hey you guys. So today's video is gonna be a Revit tutorial on how to do roof trusses using extrusions. So right here you can see the end result that we're gonna try to achieve. And I think it looks great. The model looks good, it looks clean. So assuming your roof plan and your elevations are all set, you can move on to drawing a section cut as well as a reference plane. So here I'm just clicking the section detail and making sure everything's in frame and you can see the roof profile. So I'm just gonna draw a quick reference plane. I just draw a line, go to structure, reference plane, and just pick the line I just drew. This is gonna be temporary, but you need it in order to model in 3D. All right, so we go to our section view and then we just go to structure, components, model in place, and this is where we actually draw the roof profile. You wanna scroll down and click structural framing. Okay, so here we're actually modeling in place. So you want to hit extrusion, and this is where you select the reference plane we made earlier. So for this example, we're using a two by four truss. So the thickness is going to be one and a half inches. So after setting the depth of the truss, you just have to draw the profile at this point. And if you're not familiar with what trusses look like, I just recommend Googling trusses and picking one that looks like it would apply to your situation. So once we finish modeling the truss, we can check and see what it looks like in 3D. And it looks good for the most part. All right, so the next thing we're gonna need to do is draw in a model line and have it set to structural framing. You're gonna wanna do this because you're not gonna wanna show a truss in your plans necessarily. So we just draw in a line. So I'm just gonna pick the line first, go to the visibility settings and have it only show up when it's set to course. And then we select the truss and then change the settings so that it only shows up in medium and fine. After that, we can just check everything off and now our truss shows up as a line in course view. So this is how it looks like in all those views, fine, coarse, medium. And afterwards, we can just delete the reference plane since we're gonna array it. And if you array the truss while it's attached to the reference plane, it's just gonna try to put all those trusses on top of each other. So yeah, let's just move it out of the way. And I'm just gonna linear array it. These trusses are probably gonna be two feet on center. And just assign how many trusses I want. I'm probably just gonna need 33. It's not like uh, I've already done this before. All right, and there you go, we have our trusses. The next thing we have to solve is the color. They automatically come in gray just because that's how all structural framing stuff comes in naturally if you're doing an extrusion. So right here, I'm just gonna go select all of them and do a graphics override. I'm just gonna change the pattern to solid and change the color as well. I got this color from the other members and other families within Revit. That way it all looks uniform. So that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If you have a different way of making trusses, I'd love to know because I'm also experimenting and just trying new things out. With that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.